Hey everyone, this is Derek Feniger with TheRisingHollywood.com and today I'm sitting down with Mo McRae, actually at my place. Um, and we're going to get a little caught up with him about some recent projects and uh, how he's on the rise here in Hollywood. The pilot I just finished called Radical was written and directed by Cynthia Mort, who wrote and directed a film with Jodie Foster, The Brave One. She was an uh, executive producer of the show on HBO, Tell Me You Love Me. And Radical is a story about this group of people that get together and they're kind of like terrorists against the system, against all the powers that kind of control and dictate the things that are affecting us socially. So it's attacking media, fashion, big business, using computers and taking over television networks, all kind of crazy stuff. It's a really fun show. Yeah, the project Acting Like Adults, it um it came in through my agency. I read the script and I really just connected to it. I thought it was well written, interesting storyline. It's pretty much the story is following this couple that decide to go on a scavenger hunt and the winner of the scavenger hunt gets an engagement ring. And the guy is like the catalyst and the person that's really pushing for that scavenger to hunt to happen is my best friend. So my wife and I accompany them on that journey and all kind of drama ensues along the way. And the actual project itself with those directors coming out of UCLA was their first time doing a feature film. And uh, from the beginning, I was just drawn to their ambition. Because they had that fervor, they approached it with the tenacity of just wanting to get things done and be creative and loose. So I think they didn't come into it with the same like callousness that can occur after somebody's been a director for a long time in the industry and dealing with the studios and agents and managers and things of that nature. It was a really fun project that would just kind of find the truth in all the moments. Wow. Uh, favorite. I don't know if I could pick a favorite because for me, almost every project is like a kid. So you kind of love each one of them in its own special way differently. But E-Day was a short film thing that I actually was not in as an actor, but I produced. So that was an interesting process. Truth About Angels was fun. It was with um, Simon Rex from the Scream franchise and uh, What I Like About You with Amanda Bynes. It's a really cool independent project. It's interesting. And Carjack was written and directed by this guy named Jeremiah Jones, who had won a few pretty big awards and some competitions and contests. So it was a short film in which I was a lead in, and it's been in festivals all throughout the country. That was a really fun project because it was short, but it felt like a, a big feature. We shut down a freeway at high-speed chases with Lamborghinis and S550s, Mercedes-Benz. It was, it was a really fun project. Kind of got into my like action hero mode on that one a bit. <laughs> well, the I guess we got to backtrack. I'll start at the beginning. I'll start at the beginning. Take it back to the little skinny kid in South Central. I uh, when I'm asked this question, I would normally say I felt like my desire to act started in high school when I first got involved with the drama department and I got on stage. But then, as I really jog my memory and think back, I feel like. Just watching films early as a child, like I think of like Jeff Goldblum and The Fly, when I saw a film called Fresh with John Carlo Esposito, there were performances then that I began to kind of become enamored with the art, but I didn't necessarily know that that's what I wanted to do until high school. And in high school, I got on stage, was bit by the bug, immediately knew that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, pursued acting. And what happened along the way in a position as an actor, it's really, it's no power in that position. I can't, I can't, there's no proactivity. You sit around, you're waiting for the agent, waiting for the audition, waiting to get the call back, waiting, waiting, waiting. And there were stories that I kind of wanted to tell and wanted to be a part of the creation process, which led me into the producing, writing. I directed a short film recently. So ultimately where I see myself now, for a while I wanted to be in this position as an actor, but goal-wise, I would really like to navigate a career where I'm as known as a producer, director, as a writer.